read. The other book is a book by an author named James Gleck called Chaos. Chaos, year after year after year in this class, provokes the strongest opinions. A quarter of the people decide it is the most irritating, irrelevant thing that could possibly have been assigned in the class and hate it. About half the people never quite figure out what's up with it. And a quarter of the people, their life is transformed. They no longer have to meditate. They no longer have to have a, just, they are at peace. At peace, I tell you. Because what this book does is introduce this whole radically different way of thinking about biology, taking apart a world of reductionism. For 500 years, we all have been using a very simple model for thinking about living systems, which is if you want to understand something that's complicated, you break it apart into its little pieces. And once you understand the little pieces and put it back together, you will understand the complex thing. And what chaos as an entire field is about, and this was pretty much the first book that was meant for the lay public about it, what chaos shows is that's how you fix clocks. That's not how you fix behaviors. That's not how you understand behaviors. Behavior is not like a clock. Behavior is like a cloud. And you don't understand rainfall by breaking a cloud down into its component pieces and gluing them back together. So read through that book. A lot of it is from physical sciences rather than biological, so we'll just be suggesting the chapters you should read. I will tell you, it is the first book since like Baby Beluga where I've gotten to the last page and immediately started reading it over again from the front because along with Baby Beluga, it's had the greatest influence on my life. I found this to be the most influential book in my thinking about science since college, so that is a sign.